So my best friend messaged me asking, what's all this stuff around Lionsgate? What does it mean? Can you tell me more about it? And so this is the topic of today's podcast episode. There are two views on the Lionsgate portal. It's a time that happens every single year at the end of July, moving into like mid-August with the peak of this portal at 8-8. And people like to describe this day as a powerful time for manifestation. And I was trying to find this post that my friend Cho, who is also an astrologer, shared last year about Lionsgate, but I couldn't find it. So we will just have a bit of uh, a summary of what I can remember. But she was saying that, you know, this holiday really is, or holiday, or this day really isn't that important. There's just so much hype around it, but she's like kind of looked into it and she's just kind of whatever about it. Uh, I feel like there is still a lot of power in the the numbers because eight is one that is very powerful. It represents wealth, abundance, power, transformation. And when lots of people place um, extra emphasis or importance on someone, someplace, something tangible or intangible, there is a lot of power that is kind of swirling around this thing. And this thing that we're talking about today is the Lion's Gate 8-8, today's date. Um, it's it's a powerful time for you to really step into your self-worth, your power to feel more empowered and to really embody the characteristics of Leo because Leo is represented by the lion. It is a very regal creature. It's very powerful. And thinking about the characteristics of Leo, of lions, is going to help you focus your attention and your awareness for today. I believe that Today is an excellent day for you to set intentions around your own personal power, the activation of how confident you feel. It's wonderful to set intentions around wealth that you want to create for yourself, abundance that you want to call in, and specifically around the type of business, side hustle, whatever you want to call it, that you want to create. This is such a great time to take a few moments and reflect, to journal, to incorporate another mindfulness practice into your morning, your evening, whenever you can find a moment to do so. And to remember that you are a powerful being. No matter what your mind tells you, what programming that has been instilled in you, you can change your life at any time. And you have the resources you need to start moving your career, whether it's changing it, shifting industries, or starting a business. Now, starting a business could also look like writing a book. It could be the pursuit of a creative endeavor, a new creative artistic project, We sometimes think that when it comes to our career, we can only focus on one thing. Yes, it is important to focus on one thing because we, uh, um, the word is slipping my, my mind. Um, when we multitask or do, um, too many things at once, it prevents us from really going deep, diving deep and really being intentional about what we are creating. But once you kind of feel like you've gotten some mastery in one area of your career, of your professional life, what you really need to explore the parts of you that have been kind of ignored. And more often than not, it is something creative, something that comes from the heart, something that your soul is yearning. So you can check the show notes. I'll have some good journal prompts for you. But you know, as you're listening to this episode, I invite you to be curious about what it is your soul desires. What has been something that your intuition, that inner voice has been nagging you about, something that you want to create and 
Oftentimes it's also tangled with a bit uncertainty, imposter syndrome, and know that any uncertainty, confusion you may feel about this interest that has popped up, action is going to be the thing that brings you clarity. If you're like, I've never written a book before, I have nowhere, no, no idea like where to start, just put it out there in the universe, writing it down in your journal and being like, I want to write a book, but I don't know where to start. Send me the resources, the signs, um, the help that I need to start to move forward. And you yourself will start to see the signs and help will start to come your way. You will be more open to receiving. And this really can be used for it any example, anything that you want to create. And if you already have um, something that you're working on, it's an awesome time to just reflect, to recalibrate. I know that I really need to think bigger and bolder about Saturn, about the career astrology that I am practicing sharing with others. And what would it be like if I thought about it in a different way. I recently have gotten into this uh, meditation app called Open. I really, really enjoy it. It's something about it feels different from the other things that I've used. And I think that it's laid out very beautifully, very intentionally. The instructors, uh, meditations, the movement practices are very intentional as well. And there is a thread that really connects all of these people and the way that they share their modality. Um, but there's also something intangible about it that I don't know how to quite describe it now, but the only word I can really use is like, like premium, something that but not really premium. It's more like very, very unique um, in terms of like what is shared. And there is like a consistency of quality as well. Um, there is like a, a very specific aesthetic that I really enjoy. And so I've been contemplating to myself, like, you know, what would it look like for me if I had these types of resources, like what would Saturn, what would like astrology, my services, my product looked like if it was kind of done in um, the style, the branding, the intentionality, and honestly, just the money and the confidence, because looking at the company background, all the founders, you know, are very experienced in this field. Um, they have worked with many large organizations, celebrities, um, and they've gotten um, funding for this venture as well. And money never solves things, it merely amplifies. And so, I'm starting to shift my perspective and start to think, well, what if I all of a sudden had $100,000 put into this business? How would I feel? What would I invest in? What if I had a million dollars? I mean, just thinking, just talking about it, mentioning it seems insane. And so I invite you to do so as well because it is an opportunity to expand. And today is an opportunity for you to tap into this expansive energy, this place where you feel empowered to take what you want. So make some time today, feel inspired, get into that inspirational mood, move your body, do some meditation, journal, and start to really, really dream big. What is it that you want to create yourself? Don't limit your creation, your desires, your vision for your future. Even if it seems super, super absurd, tap into your inner voice, that inner wisdom. Allow it to guide you as you explore what else is out there for you. Because I know that if you're listening to this podcast, you have a desire to explore. You know that there is something more out there for you and you are on the journey to discover it. All right, that is it for me about Lionsgate. For those who do have businesses, I invite you to generate your business's career astrology report, finding a time, a date, a place that really resonates with you as the birth of your business. 
getting, I know that most of you have gotten your individual career astrology report, but getting one for your business will allow you to understand what you are creating in a deeper way. It's like if your business was a person you know, what needs do they have? How do they shine more brightly? What are some of their wounds and challenges? And what are their um, potential successes, products and services that they can create? And when you blend your report together with your businesses, a lot of magic and clarity will come your way. All right. Hope you enjoyed this episode and happy Lionsgate.